Important news tonight for every parent of a public school student in New Jersey. Governor Murphy says he's expanding access to coding and other technology education to public schools. CBS 2's Meg Baker has more. And then you're going to complete that method. This is a college level computer science class taking place at Bridgewater Raritan High School. I want to go into like machine learning. That's what really excites me. Governor Murphy announced a plan to create statewide standards and ensure every student in New Jersey has access to computer science education. That's coding, artificial intelligence, and more. Right now, not every school has the funding, technology, or teachers to be able to teach these courses. State funding will help. These are the disciplines that are fueling our future. They are the skills that employers are looking for in prospective employees. The programs reach beyond the basic building blocks of education and will start in elementary school. That's especially important in today's changing global economy. And they'll enter into a field that, at least here in New Jersey, as our governor has shared, pays an average of more than $107,000 starting salary. But science, technology, engineering, and math, STEM fields, are still male-dominated. This student hopes to change that. Technological innovation requires the collaboration of individuals with different backgrounds and skill sets. The lack of female representation in computer science is therefore significantly hindering our ability to move forward as a society and to create comprehensive solutions for all. Teachers say getting both male and female students interested at an early age will hopefully bridge that gap. At Bridgewater Raritan High School, Meg Baker, CBS 2 News. The state lacks computer science teachers, so the plan also includes training for educators. In New York State, it's up to each school district to determine the curriculum.